From your hyper-local weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by Storybook Land and EHT. Enter a world of wonder and whimsy and create everlasting memories for your family. Over 15 rides and dozens of themed attractions. For tickets, hours, and more info, visit storybookland.com. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. We are tracking some more rain on the way. Good news is it looks to be uh, late tonight kind of early morning hours Wednesday and then pretty much the whole first half of your Wednesday looks a little bit soggy but today does look drier and overall pretty pleasant. We're also tracking some cooler weather on the way. By the end of this work week or I'm talking about maybe Friday Saturday we're going to be seeing highs in the uh, low 70s so some uh, kind of a sneak peek into the fall ahead of us uh, as we look forward to the end of this week and of course we are continuing to track Hurricane Lee as it makes its approach closer towards our area later on in the week, closer to the weekend. I'll have details on the specifics for that in just a minute. But for today, it looks beautiful. A mix of sun and clouds, rain chances remain pretty low. Most spots will be in the low, maybe mid 80s. Now it is still gonna be feeling a little bit swampy out there. The humidity stays high for today as well as tomorrow. So we're still gonna be feeling uh, the moisture kind of lingering, but you can see big changes are on the way. Thursday through till Sunday, much cooler, drier air will be setting up across our region, so that'll be a nice welcome change on the way. So here's the setup. For your Wednesday, we are looking very gray out there. Whole first half of the day, we're going to be dealing with some very stubborn cloud coverage, chances for showers, and maybe even some thunderstorms kind of early on. Uh, that's going to really help to limit the air temperature. So our highs on Wednesday will be staying pretty much in the 70s, so already some big changes on the way as early as tomorrow. So let's set everything into motion. Again, right now, a mix of sunny clouds out there. We do stay dry for most of this afternoon, but maybe after around 1.30, 2 o'clock, you're gonna see a couple of storms kind of pop up through Delaware and try to move across the bay and into South Jersey. A lot of that activity is not gonna succeed. We do have the Cape May bubble that everybody likes to talk about, so the rain chances do remain very low for today. But you can see that after about midnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning, that's when we're gonna see things really start to shift. We're gonna see a better chance for a line of storms to kind of roll across the area. That moisture will stick around until early Wednesday. And then we're gonna see more chances for some more scattered activity Wednesday afternoon and into the early evening. So pretty much for uh, Wednesday, you wanna keep the rain gear handy and keep an eye on the sky as we continue to see more chances for rain on the way throughout not only the first half, but even kind of into the afternoon for Wednesday. Hurricane Lee continuing its track, uh, moving uh, west-northwest for the rest of the day today and into tomorrow. And then the second half of the week is when it starts to make that turn up to the north. As of right now, it looks to be a major concern uh, for areas up across uh, the far northeast, southern New England. Here back home, we're still going to be dealing with some very rough surf, the risk for some coastal flooding, a big risk for rip currents as we look forward to this weekend and the start of next week. So if you were thinking about heading towards the water, do keep that in mind. Waves are going to be uh, really rough. The tides are going to be higher, so some flooding is going to be concern but as far as direct impacts that looks like less of a possibility uh, as we continue to see how Lee kind of works its way up to the north we'll kind of pinpoint some of those details but for right now it's really just coastal issues that we're looking at here across New Jersey we do dry out for the next couple of days so after a soggy Wednesday Thursday and Friday look nice and sunny it's gonna be cooler it's gonna be comfortable remember those dew points dropping into the 50s so feeling a little bit more September and almost autumnal for the end of this week Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your morning. I'll be checking in with you later on, right around lunchtime.